Cozy Bird, welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. We're getting started here and I already see some slimes. Oh no, I did the wrong one. Wait, wait, come back, come back. There you go. I see some slimes trying to break free right now and I don't want that. So I wanna get back over here and try to launch you over. I don't know where they're trying to leave. They shouldn't be hungry at the moment, but here we go. We'll grab some ports for our troubles. And we also have some food growing in over this way. There's quite a lot I needed to get to in today's episode, I'm sure. And one of them is I wanna try to grow some different foods and stuff, especially if I can make anything that might make them a little more productive. So that would be great. And the best way to sort of figure that kind of thing out is to go to the Slimepedia and work out some information there. So the cotton slime's favorite is this little blueberry type. I saw it once before, but then they ate it up, so I couldn't get any. Um, we also have the tabby slime, which is our, in our inventory right now, but we haven't deposited it anywhere. Um, their favorite food is the rock chicken. And then we have the phosphorus slime, who their, their favorite thing is the strawberry. So I think we can definitely get the strawberry figured out. What's weird is that, you know, the normal slimes, they don't really have the favorite food. They just seem to eat everything. Uh, so good to know I can launch some of those in. But as you can see, they're all doubling up a lot. So I guess at this point, they're all basically um, the little... Yeah, see, they're producing just as many of that as they are of anything else. There you go. So lots of important... No, 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 no. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Here, let's take that back. And you guys have more carrots than you seem to know what to do with. So I might take one or two of those. I can, um, and I also have the hands. There's so much I need to do and I just don't know where to start. I've been selling stuff, but one thing that is good to keep in mind is that the more you sell of one type of port, the less it is worth. You're sort of flooding the market with it. So paying attention to the little arrows next to the cost is super duper important. So the less we sell of a certain thing, the more the value will raise. The more we sell it, the more it'll decline. So keeping things intact for a bit is super important. I think the way to figure that out is to get a silo, which will need 454. You can take it with you when you, you can't take it with you when you go, so put it in storage. So I think getting a silo figured out is our next best step for figuring some of that kind of stuff out, which is definitely what I wanna do. The problem is I need money and our things are going, getting less and less valuable. So I'm just gonna try it out. We're gonna just sell out what I have for the time being. And it might not be the most efficient start, but we'll see. That gets me at 485. How much did I need in total? 450, so I can buy one right there. So there we go, we have our first silo. And if I activate it, I can just sort of put stuff into there. So that's what we're gonna try to figure out for right now. Now I can't figure everything out for the time being, but I can at least get a little bit started. I can grab a port there as well and just launch that carrot into there. Hold on. No, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm so sorry. I don't know where that port went. Uh, boop, got it. And just doing things like that, you can see we can sometimes vacuum stuff up. Sometimes it doesn't really seem to work super well. Uh, there it goes. So I'll grab one of those and one of those and we'll see how this silo works. Hopefully well. Um, but there's just a ton of things like that to figure out that we'll figure out more and more as time goes on. But if I launch that in, and launch that in. Oh no. Did that not work? Huh. Yeah, okay. Oh, I need to change the slot, don't I? So obviously I only have slots for three items. So obviously I can't have a ton of stuff in there, but we'll add more and more to it soon enough. And can you please stay in there? Thank you. All right. There are so many slimes all over the place and some more of them are breaking free because I guess they're hungry. I think that's the problem right now. So launch that back out. Send this, oh no, okay, wait a, wait a minute. There we go. Send you back in there. And I think there's just too many of them is a problem. We have a lot of them, more than we need. So if some of them could just, you know, live a life outside in the wild, more power to them. Great, good luck out there, buddy, I believe in you. Okay, let's try sucking up some more then. There's one, two. Oh no, yep, there we go. So let's get those and deposit them into our silo really quick. And then we'll get back to adventuring around trying to find more things and resources. I think that would be a great idea. So, um, I gotta switch it over just like that. Oh, did I do it wrong? I think I did. So I need to be careful with that. Um, I wanna take those there, put them here. Gotcha. I don't know how many you can hold for each thing. But yeah, I guess if we have, you know, the the Largo version of both the pink slime and the cotton slime, we should really try to find that blueberry one and use that in our farm. And I think there's different things we can do to make our, our farm more efficient too. Oh, these poor things are hungry. So hopefully we can shoot them closer to some food resources or something. But most of those I need to keep for myself as well. Hmm. There's a lot to get around to in today's episode, I'm sure. And if we take a look at the map, 
You know, we're in the rainbow fields for right now. Hmm. Oh, it looks like there's a little skull sign up there. I wonder what's going on with that. Where was that one blueberry thing I found? I, I found it before, like I said, but I don't know exactly where. A couple more hens. I wanna build a coop as well. There is so much to do, so. The to-do list is rather long. An upgrade is needed to harvest this. Interesting. Whoa, and they're combining over here. That's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of those ports if you don't mind. But you, I'll take what you got there. That was cool. See, that was a phosphor and pink slime combined. So I might as well grab a couple of those ports for the road. I think that'll be useful. I've already interacted with you, yeah. Okay, so anything extra around here? Or are you guys just taking it all? Looks like they've taken it all. So maybe not much for us in this little area, but now we're making our way farther into the rainbow fields. And here are some of the, uh, how do I want to do this? Maybe I'll put some of the pink ports down for now because they aren't worth very much at the moment anyways because I've been selling them so often and that's sort of the problem, right? I've already activated that right here. So I need to come back to this once it is grown. It would be cool if there's a way to like excavate it. Oh, and I haven't done anything with my tabby slimes. Well, that was another thing I wanna to try to save up some money. What's going on in this cave? Whoa. Look at this, this is a totally different area, basically. Um, how do we wanna do things around here? So I can't grab too much of that just because my inventory's full. And that's another thing I eventually need to focus on is getting another inventory slot. I don't know if I have the right materials for such a thing, but up this way, I can figure out what this is. I saw this before. Oh, it's gonna be another map thing. So that clears things out quite considerably. Basically, this whole area yeah, is just cleared up now. I can see it as clear as day. And boom, we got this, which has another chicken for us, another hen hen, and some extra money. And more of those, oh, these strawberries, okay. I need to make a decision here. I'll take the tappy slime. Hey there, little guy. So cute. But I need these Q-berries because they are the favorites of the phosphor slime. So if I want a lot more of those phosphor quartz, I think it's better just to get the Q-berries. Oh, we got another hen hen. Is that the right kind though? I don't think so. Huh. There's so many decisions to make here. It's really hard to manage my inventory, but a lot of the stuff pops back up. It's not going anywhere, you know? Oh, these are phosphor ports. Again, um, I'll just make the most of what I got here. I'll take a couple more tabbies because, you know, I have them. Which, what are the tabbies like? We take a look at that really quickly. No, 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 there we go. They liked the rock chickens, which I've seen one of, maybe I just saw another one, but I'm not really sure. They're so adorable though, they might be my favorite ones yet. Hey there. Okay, so I am a little lost. We are getting to new areas, which is super exciting, but I wanna make sure I'm excavating and getting everything I can from the areas we are exploring. Okay, so if I could just grab some extra, uh, whatever they're called, pogo fruit. Oh yeah, and this will set, send it, huh. I don't know if I need that quite yet. It really depends on, I don't know if I can see my upgrades from here. Cause we have things like this, where you get the utilities, tools for getting the job done. And that's something I need to see too. Oh my gosh, there's so much. But yeah, here we are in the rainbow fields in the slime sea. We haven't found too much of the other areas. Hi, did I talk to you? I don't think so. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jelly Stone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited. Breathless and sweating, I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's little time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. This time, I'm going to do it right. All right, well, that's an interesting little story. Yeah, this is where we walked through before, so I think we're good just to make our way back. Hello. Because there's lots of carrots to grab, yeah, but I just don't have the inventory space for it, so cool. But if I can find any more of these uh, pogo fruit, like that up there, I'm definitely gonna grab it. And what are these? Oh, I guess they're sort of old pogo fruit that have sort of wilted. Gotcha. So. Gotta make sure we get that when we have the chance. Oh, here's some more. Because if not, it might just wilt away. I think we're heading back home now. Whoa, look at you! You're huge! This guy, the Phosphor Gordo, I can't even budge yet. 
What do we do about that? That's a huge guy. All right, I'll have to come back to that. Maybe we can make them happy in some way to get them to budge. I'm not really quite sure. Maybe I just need a stronger vacuum because those are bigger than the other um, Largos that we've seen. That is crazy. Okay, running back over here. We're home. Nobody's gone crazy yet. So once again, we have now the strawberries. We take a look. Those are the favorites of the phosphorus slimes, which I thought the phosphorus was selling for a good chunk of cash. So I think right now it would be great to change this. How do I, how do I do that? I can't just do that. What if I put this in there? That doesn't do anything either. So this will demolish the plot, but I don't think I want that. I want to remove the crop, which is pretty expensive. Remove the existing crops and plant something new. So I'll do this. It costs 50 to do that, which is pretty expensive, but I'm gonna pop in a Q-berry and hopefully, yeah, that Q-berry will grow and everybody will be happy. And I'll give you guys the rest of the Q-berries for now. Actually, no, 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 wait. Not for you guys. I forgot. Uh, This is for the phosphor slimes. Okay, Um, I, I sort of messed this up, didn't I? <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Uh, We'll launch some of that over. And then I will give you guys the last two here. I'll get the Q-berries. You guys can come back out. There's supposed to be five of them, by the way. I don't know where the fifth one went. Um, But you guys, and you two get back in there. Because guess what? I have, and it's, it's safer for you guys in here. No, not the tabby slimes. Oh my goodness. Um, I need to make a whole new capture for the tabby slimes, I'm sure. They've been in my inventory for a long time though. This is their favorite though, so they're gonna make a bunch of ports for us. And then if they're still hungry, maybe we can throw them a few hens, throw you guys a few hens, and you guys one hen. Okay, so I will try to collect some of this stuff. Ooh, there's a bunch. Come on, keep collecting. I'm sure there's more, right? Maybe. Okay, well for right now, I'll grab those 10. I'll grab these 10. But yeah, now that they're all the, the Largos combined and stuff, they are more efficient and that's good. Okay, so I, I think I just want to stash these away for the time being. So yeah, just put those into there. It gives us 13 and 14 of these. Nice. How are you guys doing? Enjoying your food, I hope. I mean, they're hungry. Th do they not eat these things? Oh, maybe they don't eat these. Uh, let's take another track. Because remember, not only do they have specific likenesses of food, but there's some foods they just don't eat. So they only eat those. So I need carrots for them. They're not gonna eat these pogo fruit. So let's toss the pogo fruit over to there. And that's where things can get really complicated really fast. They're not gonna wanna eat the hens. And I guess you guys don't wanna eat the, oh, because you're part, yeah, okay. Since you guys are now part cotton slime, you're not gonna wanna eat that either. That does make things tricky, doesn't it? Um, Right now, let's just gather what we can from that. It's not a ton, but it just gets it all sucked up. Now, yeah, I got all those, the phosphor pores we wanna sell, I think, for right now, because it actually isn't so bad. 28, it's going down a little bit, but we need to make that money. So there we go, that gets us up to 173 pretty quickly. And if we could start corralling together the tabby slimes and start feeding them, I think that'll be the next best idea. But the thing is, we could get nutrient soil, which uh, makes it so that the crops yield maximum harvest and then make them grow twice as fast, but it's also incredibly expensive. So they need uh, carrots and they need them quick. So I'm going to go do that run out here. Hi there, little pink slime. And if I could grab more of other stuff too while I'm out here, you know, more, uh, we'll find something I eat, eat these eventually, you know? Gotcha. So there's just a lot of minute details that really come into play and you really have to pay attention to. There we go. And what is this? Oh, that's a port. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not really sure exactly how these Largo's work. Like if I feed you, will you eat that? Will you eat the hen? It doesn't look like you were all that interested, but I did find a pot, which had, um, I think that was another uh, pogo fruit. Huh. Any more carrots? Oh, plenty more carrots over there. So I'm just trying to look around to see what other carrots we can find because those are really important. And a lot of ports here too, so. Good to know. 
I want to be sure I'm available for whenever the blue ones start to grow in, but that was pretty far away. That's sort of the problem, is it's sort of a, a trek out there. And the times I check, it seems like they're not even available. But I think it was right back over here, right? Memorizing exactly where it is is gonna be a big help, and it is. Okay, so wait, I'm sorry chickens, but I wanna send you flying. We got the water lettuce, the only glass of water that has your daily dose of fiber. Interesting. So that seems cool. I thought it was like a blueberry kind of thing. We'll wanna grow that too. We won't just want it to be a one time, just toss it over. So I think the same thing as with the, the Q berries, these uh, water lettuces, we need to harvest them. So if I could make another farm, that'd be fantastic. I don't know what the logistics of that might be at the moment. But for right now, I know we have some hungry slimes. These guys specifically are starving. So let's send that in. We can, there you go, boom, boom, boom. Don't worry guys, I got you covered. And what about you guys? Will you guys eat carrots? Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it. Let me go to the Slimepedia. It will take me a while to memorize what who eats what. So they only eat fruit. So you'd think they'd eat a couple of pogo fruit, right? I think so. So we'll send that out. Yeah, they, they're munching on that. So I know that you guys are half of that, so you should definitely be eating some of this, no problem. I still got these hens around. But they're munching. They're having a great time. We will collect some more of this. It's not a ton, but it's something. So I'll grab these up. Oh, I can't right now because of, <laughs> whoops. Okay. I'll send some more in. Why not? Then I might, boop, boop. Oh, they have some more waiting for me because you know they ate. Because as far as I understand, the, the cost for everything, the market, only changes once per day. So it's nighttime right now. Oh no, uh, not what I wanted. Now is the time to sell and then we'll come back tomorrow to see where everything's at. I think that's the best course of action. So it seems like they're full. Grab all that. We will activate this so it goes a little crazy. I got a bunch waiting for me on that side, but I don't have the inventory space at the moment. It's more hens. And it's getting later at night. Oh, they're glowing. They're hungry again? I just fed you guys. Oh my gosh. Well, that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Oh no, I always do that, I always do that. Hold on. There we go. Let's go here, pop all those in, switch this over. I got that one waiting for me for some reason. No, 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 I'm doing the wrong thing. The problem is I'm taking them out when I'm just trying to grab this one. There we go. Okay, a couple more things left to do. I got another FOSS report right there and they're breaking free again. Please just stay in there. No, you, you don't look happy. Oh no, please don't fall out. So it's just this one for now. But once again, I don't have the inventory space. I keep forgetting. I desperately need a fifth slot, even though I know I want to use that up pretty quick. I also just need to do something with the tallies, but I just, hard to make the most out of the money that I have. Got it. Okay, so what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna hold on to all this stuff until the market goes way, way up. Taking a little bit more, just like that. Let's rush back over. And plop all that in. So we're gonna have a bunch of that. So hopefully soon the market improves. But I think now might be a good time to go to bed. Um, what's weird is that there's no messages or anything. Uh, I know that in previous game would get messages from people and stuff. There doesn't seem to be as much of an active story right now, which that might be added later, you never know. But it's morning time, so how are my slimes doing? Looking pretty good. How is the market? So the market, unfortunately, has not changed. The phosphor's gone down, these two have stayed the same, but if we can find or get some tabby stuff set up, now might be the best time for it. So how do I wanna design things here? Um, this area has been pretty crowded for a while. They are pouting over here still. But I think I will do a corral, okay, and put our tabby slimes in there. Now they like, what was it again? You would think a tabby slime would like chicken, just fine. Yeah, they just, they're meat eaters, so that's their diet. We need to get some chickens for them as soon as possible, and that's where I was thinking, we have 139, we need 250 to get a coop. And they are instantly out of there. You are kidding me. Okay, well that's not gonna contain them whatsoever. And 
Maybe that's not a problem. You know, like they're gonna get all over the place, yes. Uh, and that's a problem. Ooh, these are gonna be good for the phosphor slimes. Go. Oh, and there's so many of them. It really takes a good moment to pull them off. Whoa, look at you over there, a super jumper. You know where you're supposed to be. All right, well, hold on. Let's feed you guys, because it looks like it is hard to feed all these hungry mouths. Um, there's so much I could do and I want to do, and that's what makes it difficult. Uh, how do I want to do this? First off, let's bank these four. Yep, so, oh gosh. Right over here, just go boom, 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 boom. Got it. Oh, they're staying in now. They're being good, I'm glad. I'll grab you, put you back in there, and okay, they seem to like to follow me, so maybe if I just stay away from them as much as possible. Some of them just run around and cause some havoc, though. I know that the price is going down on the phosphor, but I need to make one more day worth of use out of it, you know what I mean? We've got 10 of them. So, for it being 26, it's gonna be 260. That's pretty good cash out right now. So 399, that's enough for me to make a couple of things. And the thing I need the most, I think, is going to be a coop. So let's get a coop, keep keeping chickens in their place and prevents an uprising. So let's try that. We've got a little chicken coop here. Uh, it's gonna keep them where they need to be. Tabby cats are driving me nuts. Okay, so we need to find some. I've, I've had to spit some out, throw them around, but there are a couple waiting. Oh, you're, you're here too, so you're probably trying to get that one. And I could definitely go out and find some more. But in the meantime, do you guys not eat this? No, they will. All right, well, that's good. I'll toss all that to you. I don't think you guys are hungry. There's no way you're hungry already. Like, I just fed you. But, uh, hmm. These guys, yeah, these guys, this is their favorite food. They'll produce double now. Uh, I need to put this pen there. I don't know if that'll encourage them to make more, but I sure hope it does, because that'd be really, really useful right about now. It's crazy to believe that, you know, we're supposed to earn up enough cash to go to new locations. I'm having a hard enough time as is just keeping up with what I got. So hopefully, eventually, we could expand to those territories and do those kind of things, but for right now, it is sort of a nightmare to, to even imagine that. There's nothing over here, okay. I'm sure there might be at some point. Okay, so, yeah, not really worth getting carried away too much. I'll grab some more boss. Ah, what are you guys doing? Get out of here! Where, where, where do these guys come from? What? I don't know, I'm launching them into the ocean though. Why, why, no! Is it that they were too unhappy? I think so. That's not good. They ate up all my slimes. So that's a huge problem. We don't want that happening. But I just don't know why. Here's some more strawberries, guys. I don't know why they turned into the bad guys. I've been feeding them as often as I can. As much as I must, these guys have a you know incredible hunger. There we go. Oh wait, one more. And the phosphor is playing out so well. Can you please stay here? Thank you. I got the nice roof for them so they aren't bothered by the sunlight. Somehow it's not enough. All right, well, that's very unfortunate, but there's only so much I could do about it at the moment, so I'll toss a few more of those in there for you, and then I gotta get back to things. We need to go get some food for our cotton slimes, because they are hungry, too. We do have a decent amount of cash right now, though, so maybe we can make things work. So, I think carrots and hen hens, chickens, you know, the deal, are what we need to focus on for right now. So, pink slimes, get out of here. I don't see too many at the moment. Oh, they're, they're munching on something. Oh wait, that's mine. Those are still growing. And there's gotta be some around here. Huh. Whoa, okay, sorry, I gotta be a little bit mean here and steal some right from under ya. All right, that's all on that stuff. It's a, it's a very involved game. I'm having a lot of fun with it, even if it is a little bit overwhelming to learn at first. I think it's something that we'll get a better grip on over time. No, wait, I need the chicken. I don't see any more over that way, so we'll try exploring around some other spots, like this over here. Have I been down this way? Doesn't look too familiar, and look at this up here, whoa. 
A big arch. I definitely don't think I've been up this high. Huh. I love the rainbow grass. It is so cool. Okay, so... Okay, I know where I am. Didn't really get too much out of that little excursion, but you know, I had to look around to find out. I'm almost maxed out on carrots for now. And I guess, you know, this is one lesson to take in from this, is as you can see, even if we lose some slimes, there are more slimes to get. There are so many more slimes to get that our progress is never truly halted. We just need to wait for the time to uh, sort of strike again. So I think everything is gonna turn out okay. I think at this point, yeah, I'll fill up all my carrots and we'll try to make our way back looking for any more chickens. These are the rock chickens. Ooh, what do I do here? Maybe I just get rid of the Q-berry. I can grow more back at home because the stony hen is pretty important. Oh, I hear more hens. So this is just where the stony hens pop up a lot. Where are all the tabbies are? What do you know? Okay, very cool. And over this way, it's another one. It's a pink gordo. Diet, fruit, veggie, meat. So there's something about these gordos that I have to do, you know? Ooh, some tricky jumps around here. And a cotton tabby largo, very cool. That's such a cute combo, the bunny cat. I love it. Huh. Oh, and there's a lot of them just popping up around here, huh? Is there anything else to get here? Was that it? I guess so. I figured that would lead to a little bit more, but we're fine, we're fine. Where am I right now? Oh, I see where I am. Oh, and it looks like it maps out those Largos. Or those Gordos. So I don't know, maybe I have to feed them so much that they pop or something? I'm not quite sure what I do to get through to those things, but we'll find out over time. Either way, we did a great job. We found tons and tons of food to keep these slimes from having a breakdown, I would hope. So, hey guys, got some carrots for you. Enjoy that, and then this is your favorite food, so I better not hear any complaining for a bit. There we go. And I think the chickens will make more chickens, I would hope. They're all over them. So let's see if they end up making some hens or something. For now, get you back over there if I can. Um, they want some of that food. It's not for you, it's not for you. I don't know why they want them. I wonder if these slimes can eat the other slimes. Oh no, what are you doing in there? Hold on, you go here and then drop all that off. And then you guys, I'm sure are starving. So toss a bunch of those in there. Gonna take as many as you can get. There we go. I don't know why they want the carrots about. They don't even eat carrots. So silly. There we go. But here we go. This is where we should be able to make a lot of money by these tabby ports. There we go, that was eight of them, so that'll be really good. Maybe I'll get one, ah, I can't even do that right now, so put you back over there. Um, actually, I could if I put you back inside. There we go, um, one, two. They maybe have been? I feel like there's more than there was. There we go. If you want the, the chicken, go into here. That's where you're gonna get it. I feel like, yeah, there should be, come on, eat up. One of you guys has to be hungry, right? They act so hungry and then they just don't eat it. Got it, very cool. So these 10 should sell for a good chunk of cash. 38 each, it's up right now too, so that'd be 380 more coins for us. So there's a number of things I need to do with all that. But first, before I waste too much more time, stash that stuff a little bit. You guys just stay in there, please. Uh, this is growing strawberries. I think it'd be nice to maximize and then I need to grow another one or start another one. Where could I do that? Because we're actually running out of plots too. But I guess that's where maybe we change things out over time. Like maybe we don't need uh, cotton slimes all the time, you know? Especially once we, since we have these two guys. What is that coloring? I don't know. Oh, I think it's them sort of poking through. You know, now that we have, you know, these. The, not the Gordos, but the Largos. Maybe we just simply don't need to uh, have the cotton slimes on their own anymore. We should just put something else in there. But first off, I need to find something else. But I think that once we find more slimes, we'll do exactly that, just that. But 
In the meantime, you got in here! Oh, you little stinker! You were not supposed to, you're just gobbling down on all these chickens. Um, hold on, hold on. Plop those in, plop those in. You are in so much trouble, mister. You, no, 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 you, you, and you. Please stay in here. Maybe this was a bad idea. Look at them all. This is a bad idea to put it right next to it. <laughs> oh, they want it so bad. So maybe I could just put high walls on this. There you go. How much do I need for another garden and where could I put it, you know? Um, that's like, I don't know if I have any plots left. And that's interesting that we only get one, two, three, four, five, six plots. I don't see any other place for one. Maybe there's some outside, but it doesn't look like it to me. So is that something we can upgrade later? I would sure hope so. But I guess at that point, that means I should probably let these guys go. I think I've, I've done what I can about it. If they wanna go and live their life out there, so be it. But I have the, the Largo combo. And as far as I understand, they will still produce extra if you give them the favorites. I don't see why not. Um, so I'm going to pay to get this taken down, which stinks because I put so much money into it. I can't even afford to do that. Oh, that feels so silly. Um, I guess I will do a little bit of that. That's gonna give me at the 267. Why is it so expensive to destroy something? I'm not sure, but we will sleep until the morning. Or hopefully, you know, some of the prices will change on some things. That would be really good and preferred. And what's going on with this thing again? This is just a tutorial stuff. Um, it, okay, it's gone up for the yellow. That's good, it's up to 15. I think I'm going to cash out with that. So we have a bunch I can get here from that. So this is why it's good to pay attention to the market, I suppose. Uh, Oh, there we go. Look at how much money we're getting now. Much better, much better. So this will make a huge difference for us, for sure. Back over. Ta-da! Awesome, so there is still more we can actually get though. I know you're hungry, but you know, it's not my problem anymore. You can join them if you wanted to. Uh, gonna activate this just to take whatever's there. And fill up on this as much as I can. I actually can't take them all, which is pretty crazy. And same thing on this one. I don't think I can take them all. I cannot. So I will be stashing away the, the pink ones, but the yellow ones I can sell, the cotton ones. And I think I do need to start saving some, some of them for, uh, you know, different upgrades and such. So I might look into that soon, but for right now, they're trying to get inside of there as if there's any extra food to get. Here, you go. I'm gonna grab all of this. And I think this stuff we're gonna bang because we're for the first time over a thousand coins. That seems pretty good. Okay, let's go into here and there. No, no, no. Hold on, do that. Much better. So I should be able to demolish this and make a garden. No. No, get out of here, get out of you. I got enough of you guys, I got enough. Be gone. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, yeah, I'm going to make all of you super duper happy. And that should make a ton of ports all over the place. I can see them stacking up. But this thing, I need to demolish it, unfortunately. It's gonna cost a pretty penny, 350. And then I want to make another garden. Okay, and this one I want water lettuce. Okay, so I plop that in there and it starts growing. And the little phosphor goes, I should have saved some of the strawberries for them. Oh no, I'm not doing so well with that. So is there any more than two chickens here? It doesn't look like it. So I don't think they make any more. Maybe it just takes more time, but they're hungry. I need to help them. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so. I mean, I think that's fine, right? That's fine. Uh, that just means I'll be getting extra ports out of it, I think. All right, toss you guys back out. And we'll just figure out what we gotta do with all this. So first off, launch that and that, and that seems pretty good. Yeah, I just need to get to helping everybody else out. But the first thing I wanted to do beyond all that 
Is there anything back here I can interact with? I guess not. Yeah, I think we've seen all there is to see when it comes to, like the interactable objects. But this stuff, with the upgrades, what would I need for an extra inventory slot? I would need new bucks, rock port, which we haven't seen, and silky sand, which I don't know how to excavate. Um, but hopefully we can figure out over time. Over this way, we have the refinery, which I still don't entirely understand, so I wanna try to look into that a little bit. So yeah, for the refinery, using advanced technology, the refinery breaks down plorts and other resources to their molecular level, allowing them to be fabricated into various uh, slime science gadgets. Aside from plorts, the bulk of resources you will use in slime science will be obtained from resource nodes found in the environment. Be sure to choose what you deposit into the refinery wisely. Any resources you deposit cannot be removed from the refinery, but instead used only for building gadgets. So I think that when it comes to this stuff, it says we have a cotton port. Yeah, basically anything, I can't just put it into here. I need to put it in the refinery. So I should make sure if I need a rock port, I put 10 of those in. If I need silky sand, put 10 of those in. I haven't seen any silky sand, but I think that maybe what I could do is put certain things in the refinery and maybe it breaks it down into those things. I'm not really sure but I guess I just have to figure out over time. Um, for right now, I wanted to Slimepedia. Is there anywhere where I can see that stuff? It doesn't look like it, silky sand. Maybe once I find it. Uh, okay, cool. So we're heading back out for now. I wonder if I could put the phosphorus slimes in here, by the way. Maybe that would be a better place to keep them if they're happy under here. I would just have to remember that they're there. That'd be the big struggle. Oh gosh, I gotta make sure that these guys aren't causing a big problem. If you're out of your pen, you're just getting sent out. Cause this stuff's growing and I want it to stay growing. Um, and since we have more of this, and this is what the cotton slime's like, I will buy that, upgrade it, and then soon we can get the sprinkler and that'll make them grow faster. That'd be excellent. So, you know, the tabby slime, it, it's going, the phosphorus slime's going down, but the port. But I'm trying to make the most of what I currently have, you know? Okay, so let's maybe focus on some other stuff. It's just also expensive. Oh, this is online. So what is this? Victor Humphreys from the comm station. Sure, hi Victor. Hello? Hello? Beatrix, do you read me? Testing, testing. Hmm. Perhaps you are lost at sea, taking away by the mysterious boat, never to be, oops, nope, just forgot to turn on the display. Nice to see your face again, Beatrix. I have missed you greatly, my dear friend. Hi, Victor. And while I'm quite excited for you to partake in a new adventure, I already have data that might complicate things. Last night, I received a message from some sort of artificial intelligence program. It's written in code, not, but not one I recognize. I'm in the process of analyzing it. But I am certain that this message was sent from where you are now, the mysterious Rainbow Island. So to recap, a mysterious boat takes you to a mysterious island, and I receive a mysterious code from said mysterious island. It all seems quite curious. <laughs> well, I've got work to do, and you best get to exploring. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this home portal. It should make the early stages of your journey easier. Whoa, now available in the fabricator, yellow home portal. Okay, take care Beatrix, we'll be in touch. Can I call them again? Hello Beatrix, despite appearances, this is not Victor, but a hologram of Victor that Victor has developed to receive messages for Victor, which is not me. Please take your message, or please take your message and I will ensure that the message is not given to me, but instead to Victor. Okay, so that's all we could talk to for now, but that's interesting then though. So we got a little something for that and I don't know how to use it, but some kind of teleporter. We'll got decorations too. Um, warp tech, right? It would be this one. Um, try not to think about how it works. Warp Tech is a class of slime science gadgets that allows you to harness the power of instantaneous travel. It includes teleporters that you can use to create shortcuts as well as gadgets to allow you to transport items. Craft Warp Tech in order to ran in order to ranch and explore much faster and more efficiently. How though? I think one thing I haven't done is if we press T, we can go into gadget mode and build gadgets. Um, and this is where things can get really interesting. As you can see, I don't have any gadgets to install. Um, I don't know how to get them. Ooh, there's a uh, hen hen here. 
Let me get that hen hen in its pen pen. <laughs> I'm sure that's supposed to be the joke. Okay, so maybe if we went back down, I could find something down there to help me build the teleporter. Cause that's sort of something I'm stuck on at the moment. So let's check this out. Here upgrades utilities. This is where I can build a hydro turret. Obviously I have a lot of things I would need for the hydro turret. And then the warp tech yellow home teleporter. He said it was for the earlier parts of my journey, but I don't know what half of this stuff is. The jelly stone, the deep brine, well actually I've seen the jelly stone, but how do I get it? Maybe the resource harvester? Yeah, okay this. So maybe I've been skipping some steps. Adds a resonator to the vac suction mechanism that shakes loose science resources from those in the environment. So I've been sort of taking a step over this part because I've been so focused on getting extra inventory slots. So for this, I'll need 450 new bucks as well as nine con ports. So nine con ports I can get no problem. The extra new bucks is where I'm struggling a little bit, but I'm not too far off. So what I could do is um, I think just spend some of my pink ones. I don't need to use a ton of them, so it should be fine. Yeah, we'll take about that. And then, ooh, I actually do need more of the con ports. Okay, so for right now, just plop that in and that'll get me to above 450. So what I could do now is just go out and about. I know that they're hungry, so they're making a big fuss at the moment. Let's see, I'll activate this to suck up whatever's left. And then what I might wanna do is just go out, find some extra ports and plop them in the one resource harvester that's out there in the map. And hopefully while we're out there, we can maybe find some food resources too. That'd be great. Oh my, they're jumping around everywhere. Sorry, you guys aren't a part of the, the group anymore, so I'm gonna have to steal this food from you. <laughs> I feel so bad, but that's sort of how things work out around here. So I should probably move these guys away from the food so that I can actually keep harvesting it. But this pot is back. I like how these respawn occasionally so that I can get extra stuff. Um, the pogo fruit I don't need much of. And the hen, maybe I can just launch you and hope that you land in my, my uh, thing. Maybe that's the plan I need to make here. Let's see, grab more ports, more food, and not the slimes. Hmm. Cause I could get more of that fruit, maybe it'd be fine. Cause there's a lot of it. Okay, you know what, on second thought, I'll grab some, some of this because I can give it to whoever needs it pretty easily. Filling up on carrots and stuff is probably the easiest thing. Carrots and pogo fruit are just super easy to top off on. I haven't found a ton more ports though, but I'm sure they're gonna pop up soon. Oh, here's one. Yeah, here's a good couple of them. So I just need these so that we can make the excavator. Oh, and I need this. So you get out of here. You get out of here. Um, Where is, it's right up here. So what I might do first, right over this way, plop all this stuff in. Same thing with this deal. Got it. And then go back over there and grab that stuff. Cause I didn't notice that that little plot was there of all this. This is all mine, I'm sorry, but I need it. And maybe I can grab a couple more to sash in there, but for the most part, I think we're we're good. If I can find some more hens, that would be great for my tabbies. Mm. This area is so cool. This is still technically Rainbow Fields though, which is a bit odd, right? But I wanna make that excavator, that's the next huge thing, and I think that's sort of the key that I've been missing, you know? The part I haven't been understanding. So, whoa, I got another pod. What will this one have? Whoa, it's gonna have the med station. Rapidly drains your energy to restore health. Fixes you up fast. That seems pretty nice. So that's a blueprint, of course. I'll still have to craft that some at some point. But exploring around and finding things like that is definitely a huge perk. Ooh, some more chickens that I'll take. Oh, actually quite a lot. More hen hens for me. Gotcha. Oh, and there's some more carrots waiting for me. I might just grab a couple of them. Hold on, not you. There you go. So I maxed out on carrots. If I can max out on the rest of the stuff I'm holding, that'd be great too. Oh, what are those? Those are the strawberries, but they're all gobbled up for now, so. Hmm. And if I do find a lot of the cube berries, as they're called actually, I might replace those with my pogo fruit or whatever. Okay, a couple more hen hens. Definitely gotta grab. But these are the rock ones, which 
are pretty important because those are the Tabby's favorite. So if I could also build up a little collection of those and find a way to make, make them produce more, I think that'd be more important than anything. Because the Tabby's produce our most expensive port right now. So making sure that, whoa, what are you, they're, you're a Roostro. I love Roostro, Roostro is so cute. Okay, so this seems pretty good to me. I don't wanna go too in over my head here. So what is that? Oh, it's a Tabby holding the care, that's so cute. I was a little confused at the uh, for a moment. Oh, and if you put your mouse over, I'll tell them to diet me. Okay. I'm just trying to grab whatever I can on our way back. Here's that. See, what do I do with you? Yeah, I think I feed you until you pop. So that is something we will have to figure out at some point, but right now my resources are super important. I need to make the most of them. I need to get out of here. Oh, please make these jumps. And then here you guys are again, just bouncing around, having a great time. I don't know if I've gotten up there, or if I even can. It looks like I could, maybe from some other way. Why are they mad? Why are you guys mad at me? Uh, what did I do? Uh, that's not good. I guess they're hungry. Um, would that make you happy? Yeah, that makes you happy. All right, so they will get really ferocious when they're ang or hungry. What do you think it's like? Not really much I can do about that out in the wild. We're not gonna worry about it though. I'm just going to try to find my way back home, which seems to be this way. It has been a jam-packed episode trying to figure everything out here in our, in our ranch. There's still much, much more to get to the bottom of. I gotta let my stamina restore. Oh, and there's some more hens just running around. Okay, so if they are, I'm gonna toss them a couple right now. That should be good. And then over this way, we have one, two, three, and then one, two, three. If I take a look here, is there any way I could Spring grass. Spring grass attracts scuttle bugs that chickens love to eat. With their bellies full, chickens will grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast. See, that's what I'm sort of curious about. Chickens flying out of the coop. Uh, Vitamizer, the very latest in advanced poultry tech. The Vitamizer bathes the hens in Vita rays, allowing them to produce eggs twice as fast. And the elder collector safely and gently removes elder chickens away from the younger generation and stores them in a collector. Huh, this is some advanced tech there. But I think that there's enough there that they'll produce eggs and stuff, right? I hope. But I have a lot of carrots. I need to feed those to whoever's gonna eat them. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. So why is it not working? Now I know why. Just like that. Okay, so yeah, back over here. You guys are jumping around. You're gonna be upset in a moment because you're gonna realize that uh, you could have gotten some food if you just hung out. Yeah, I guess I should have done that first. Here. Get in there. And then I see you're like, no, wait, I want some of that. There you go. Where are you at? Get in. And just keep tossing that stuff in because that's their absolute favorite. Now for the strawberries, they're still growing. So you guys are gonna have to wait because you only eat, what is it? Fruit, they only eat fruit. But I can grab some more of this stuff. I might as well. And I think, yeah, the tabbies have more stuff for us too, so. All this stuff I'll happily grab. No, 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 don't be jumping all over me. Cause they will eat anything now, the big ones. So that's pretty useful. And if they keep producing pink warts, the rest of them will start eating anything. So that could be potentially, yeah, really, really good for us. So I would say just leave the pink warts, get the tabby warts and hope for the best with all that. There is so much going on, but look at this. Boom, lots of extra cash. Coming in, gonna launch it way over, and I got it in, ooh, nice shot, okay. So, I should, in theory, have enough that I can start building an excavator or whatever it's called. So back over here, yes I do, we have the new bucks, we have the cotton ports, let's upgrade. Are you sure you wanna fabricate this upgrade? Sure. So, add a resonator to the vac suction mechanism that makes, that shakes like science resources, it's upgraded. So, I think I can just walk up and start sucking some stuff and it'll work. So, we might run out and test that out um, in the morning. Things are getting a bit late here, so I think, yeah, we just wanna wait until morning. Oh, I didn't mean to do it twice. Uh, whoops, I just skipped an entire day. My, that is not good. They're gonna be really hungry now. Uh-oh. Um, 
Yeah, that's not what I had intended, but it's okay. We'll figure something out. Here. Let's just make them happy with all this stuff then. It'd be nice if they could more easily get into the, the pen. I think I just have too many. I think that's an issue here. It's just too cluttered in there. Because now you're trying to get back in, and it's a whole mess. If you didn't leave, it would have been fine. Okay, you're just gonna bounce out again. So you can get a whole collection more. And there's still more in there. And look at this, they are all Largos now. Or, uh, Largos? Yeah, Largos. Have you made more, though? Hard to tell. Well, I wanna keep those two so that they can maybe still make some more. But I'll just toss a couple of that in there. There we go. And then definitely grab some more of this stuff. So I guess sleeping for an entire day does have its benefits. What do you think you're doing here, huh? Get out of here. All right. Grab this stuff. We got the strawberries waiting for us. Some of them wilted because I took too long. So that's sort of a problem we need to avoid as well. Okay, so I think that we definitely need to get more of these guys and hope that they don't become evil. But I'm gonna launch some more of that. And that'll make him super duper happy. This thing is filling up like crazy. Well, I guess at the least, you know, we're skipping some days and we have some messages too. Let's see how the market reflects. The pink ones are still average, but of course the cotton ones are up and up. So that's great actually. So we'll be able to harvest a bunch of that and make some major things happen. There is just so much to do in this game, it gets wild fast. So I will grab some of that stuff. And you guys are still making more port, so I don't think you need food right now. So I don't need the pink ones right now, actually. But as many of the yellow ones as I can get, the cotton ones, so I can start selling them today. But that might be something I save a little bit for next episode, it really depends. Here, come on, pop that. No, wrong thing. <laughs> Plop that into there. And that's 22 each, so yeah, that's some major gains, for sure. Uh, but the pink ones just keep going down and down. Okay, I'll grab those. Yeah, they made some course for me. Looks like I got a couple more here. It's hard to get them. That's sort of the thing, is as soon as you start getting Largos in there, you wanna be able to get the Harvester, which we have enough for. So you know what? Let's get it. Uh, the Port Collector, it is a bit expensive, but I think it can be worth it, especially at this level. Um, is it getting anything right now? At the moment, now. But I can just toss more food in there and they should eat it up. Okay, so, and they made a good couple. Oh my gosh, they made a bunch. Don't mind if I do. So just two of them can make so much. Okay, if you jump out, I think you're out for good. I think that's the new rule, guys. There's no way you're hungry if there, there's some already in there. All right, activate it, because I want to get some more. Things are getting complicated fast. I think, I think there's a couple of things I need to do here. So first off, we'll sell what we got here. Actually, I might stash a couple away, because it's getting to that point where I'm probably going to need these for their own thing. So getting some phosphor in there is important. Over this way, I will sell these, because they sell for a pretty penny right now. 38 each, I can't deny that. There we go. Okay, so I, I got one last set here that I want to sell. Because the prices are definitely going to go down tomorrow, so I will pop these two in too. There we go, we have 1,300. That is quite a lot. Did I ever buy, I think, yeah, we, we want to focus on these now, more than anything. So. We got the nutrient style. Let's put in the sprinkler. And then I've been getting pretty carried away here. What I wanna do next is I just wanna try our new ability and get some of that other stuff, just to sort of see how that works. And then I think we're just gonna be all done for today's episode. Hi, I don't really need you, but it's fun to pick them up sometimes. And I might pick up some extra food along the way because what else am I gonna use the inventory slot for at the moment? But what I'm looking for is some of those things I can excavate that we just unlocked. We worked so hard for it, I definitely wanna make the most of it. I know there's some around. I just gotta find it now. Now that I'm looking for it, I, I can't remember exactly where it was, right? It's usually how it works. Oh, here's some, here's some. Whoa, are you guys angry? This one seems a bit angry. Here you go, just take this and be happy, please. Oh, and there's so many hens around here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we want the, the roostro. Uh, stretch his stuff like he's the king of the coop. Ah, wait a minute, you, you. 
See ya! <laughs> All right, <laughs> there you go. They, they won't harm you anymore. I need to drop the, the pink slime and uh, try this out. So there we go. What do we get out of that? That is gonna be the jelly stone. It's both solid and squishy at the same time. Very interesting. So I wanna try to get as many of those kind of uh, materials as we possibly can. I don't know if we can sell them, but they'll be super duper useful for collecting things um, and building things. So whenever I see any kind of jelly stone deposit, it is worth it to go and grab it. But that's all I see for right now. And I think all I probably wanna spend my time on, it's already been a pretty long episode exploring the uh, rainbow fields as they're called and getting a lot done. It has been a blast for sure, but definitely I think we need to wrap it up for today. So we'll head back, we'll put everything in its rightful place and we'll be done. Okay, so maybe the roostros will help with chicken production, I'm not quite sure, but we're gonna do that. Um, and can I put this kind of stuff in? Maybe, but I don't have the cash for it. I might wanna make a second silo, because yeah, I forgot about this spot right here. Uh, what else can I do? The incinerator, the pond. I don't know what I'm going to do with those things, so maybe a second silo would be good. Or maybe I could even upgrade this one, additional storage for 500. Sure, let's see that. And as you can see, I now have no more slots. What? Uh, one, two, three. That's all I have. I'm a little confused here. I just bought that. It didn't work. Uh, so I can have up the four ports for storing ports and resources. Yeah, I'm a little confused. What if I just try to put this in there? It's not gonna work. Hmm. Oh, do I have two of the yellow? No, I don't think I do. Let's see if I do this. Yeah, it's only three. I feel a little ripped off there. I don't know what I just did wrong, but I did something. Either way, uh, that was still a lot of fun. We made a lot of progress in today's episode, and I'm sure there's plenty more to make in the next episode of Slime Rancher 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.